Hello guys, welcome to another video. This is the ultimate guide to the UEFA Champions League 2022-2023. Uh, we'll be starting uh, from the preliminary round, uh, introducing the teams and up to the group stage. For the qualifying round for uh, the preliminary round draw has already been made. FC Levadia Tallinn will be playing Vikinger Reykjavik on the 21st of June. And La Fiorita from San Marino uh, is playing Inter Club de Scaldes from um, Andorra. And it's Estonia and Iceland. Those are the preliminary round games that are going to be played on 21st of June, the longest day of the year. And the final 24th of June. And the winner of the final will play in the first qualifying round of Champions League, while the all three losers will go to the Conference League's second qualifying round. Uh, first qualifying round, the teams are here. There's a lot of teams already. So we got Bodo Glimt, of course. We, uh, we've all discovered them this year in the Conference League. Let's see if they can get to the Champions League. Um, it's going to be tough, though. First qualifying round to get to the Champions League is really, really tough. You don't. You, you have to win four rounds. Karabag from Azerbaijan. They're a good team. They've been in the Champions League recently against Chelsea. Um, they're they're a decent team. They can they can cause upsets here. Lech Poznan, who just won the league, they've already just won the league. By the way, every single one of these teams have won their league. Uh, they're a decent team, honestly. But usually it's Lech Warsaw. But this year, Lech Poznan will be in first qualifying round Champions League. F ninety one Dudelange, it's pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Uh, from Luxembourg, let's see if they can make it. Punic, Yerevan from Armenia. Bergen, of course, is from uh, Norway, by the way. Dino Batumi from Georgia. Honestly, they can be decent. They had a youngster who's not going to Napoli, but uh, a Georgian international, and he's really good. But they're not going to have him next year, but he's still, they still produce very decent players. KI from Faroe Islands. I don't know if they have much of a chance, if I'll be honest. The new Saints from Wales, uh, I don't think they have a chance either. Um, Malmo, they actually went from first qualifying round to Champions League group stage last year, so let's see if they can do it again. They were in Chelsea's group, and Juventus, and Zenit. Of course, by the way, there's no Russian teams. Tobol Kostanay from Kazakhstan. They've been decent in the qualifiers uh, years ago. Maribor actually were also in Chelsea's group. All these teams are in Chelsea's group uh, recently, uh, like five years ago, something like that. So let's see if Maribor can do it from Slovenia. Zurinski from uh, Mostar from uh, Bosnia. They can be relatively decent. Uh, RFS from Latvia. Hoike from Finland. Michael, you know, uh, you know the team. Let's see, it's uh, if you if you, if your team's gonna make it. Balkany from Kosovo. Very interesting team. Uh, don't think I don't think they have a chance though. To be honest, Ludogorets though they have a chance. They've been in Champions League recently uh, with PSG, PSG as well, uh, I believe. Ferenc Varos have a real chance. They've actually been there twice in a row in Champions League, by the way. Um, they were in Barcelona and Juventus group last year, and this year they were in the group with... Who were they in the group with? I completely forgot. I don't know. Um, oh, my goodness. I'm going to check. It's, it's out of like when when these things happen when you forget something and it's stuck in your head you need to find out uh, so that's one second they actually added a very decent player from the Belgian League I saw oh wait no they were not in Champions League group this year they went to the final the playoff round they lost to Young Boys they were in the Europa League but still Europa League is very decent still um, Slovan Bratislava and um, Shamrock Rovers from Ireland and Slovakia from Slovakia. Tirana from Albania, that's where the final of the Conference League took place uh, this year. Sheriff Tiraspol, we all know them from first qualifying round to making the Champions League group stage, beating Real Madrid away in their second ever game in the Champions League. First Moldovan team to ever make the Champions League group stage. Let's see if they can do it twice in a row. It's going to be tough though. Lincoln Redims from Gibraltar. CFR Kludge from Romania, uh, yeah, from Romania, who have been decent in Europe recently. Shakhtar Soliorsk from Belarus. 
Zalgiris from Lithuania who were very close to European football. Uh, you know, they were in playoff round at the Conference League but could not make it through. Shkupi from Macedonia, North Macedonia. Linfield from Northern Ireland. Hibernians from Malta. And Suteiska Niskic from Montenegro. Out of these teams, um, there are a couple teams that have made uh, Europe last year. Bodo Glimt were in the Conference League. Um, Karabakh Conference League too. Uh, who else? Malmo Champions League, of course. Um, Hoika have made the uh, Europe Conference League. Ludogorets Europa League. Federer Schwabers, Europa League. Slovan Bratislava Conference League. Sheriff Church Bowl Champions League. CFR Kludge uh, Conference League. And... I believe that's it. But nine teams out of these teams that made uh, the group stage of European football last year. Let's see if any of them make it again this year. I the ones I, uh, that have the biggest chance for me are Bodo Glimt, Malmo, Ludogorets, Kludge, Ferenc Baros, Karabag, Lech Poznan, Sheriff Tursbo, Slovan Bratislava, and we can add Maribor. Those are the ones that have the biggest chance. In the second qualifying round, we meet, of course, bigger teams, a couple winners of their league, and uh, a couple second place. Victoria Poulsen, who usually uh, are in win like our top three in the Czech Republic in the league, but this year they won it, so that's great for them. Uh, once you're in second qualifying, round, last year in second qualifying round of Champions League, there were like 26 teams, 25 of them made it to con to at least Conference League group stage, so had group stage of European football. Only one missed out, or two, I think, one or two missed out. So if you're in second qualifying round of Champions League, you've got um, group European football pretty close to unlock. Dinamo Zagreb, who, of course, had uh, Europa League, but were in Champions League not too long ago. And they're a good team, Dinamo Zagreb. Zurich, who won the league for the first time in a, a decade, uh, as I said in the previous video. Olympiakos, who, who are actually quite Champions League regulars. Um, they were in Europa League this year, but usually they make Champions League. Maccabi Haifa were in Conference League this year. And let's see if they can do it, if they can get Champions League this year. Dynamo Kiev finished second halfway through, but they had to abandon the league. They actually get you Champions League quite a lot. This, uh, yeah. Fenerbahce got second qualifying in Champions League. They're also the team that gets European football pretty much every year. They were in Conference League no, in Europa League this year. Dinamo Kiev in Champions League, by the way. Uh, mid Giland were in Europa League and also are now a uh, European football regular. AEK Larnica were not in the European football group stage this year. They were in the qualifiers, but I forgot for what. But let's see if they can make it. So new, te new teams that would be able to make it are AEK Larnica, Zurich, and uh, Vic uh, Victoria Putin are the three teams in second qualifying round that did not qualify for the group stage of European football. Once you're in the third qualifying round of Champions League, you've officially gotten at least Conference League group stage. So no matter what, you'll be in the group stage of a European f t um, competition, which for these some of these teams is incredible. For example, Apollo and Limassol were not in European football group stage last year. They will be this year. So remember the name, Apollo and Limassol. They won the Cypriot League. They're only two rounds away from the Champions League, which would be immense. Red Star Belgrade are a... Um, they do get Champions League quite a lot, but they weren't in Europa League this year. Let's see if they can get Champions League this year, though. Next year, I mean. Monaco finished third on the last day, at the last minute. Like last year, they finished third too, and did not make the Champions League because they lost to Shakhtar in the playoff round, so had to settle for Europa League. Let's see if this time around they can win it. They can make the uh, Champions League group stage. Benfica had uh, Champions League last year. They beat PSV in the playoff round. Again, Benfica and Monaco both finished third last year, so they're in the same place. PSV were in the Europa League because, of course, they lost to Benfica. Also finished in the exact same place as last year. So all three of them came in third qualifying round of the last year and are again like this uh, this year. Union Slashy was first time in, in 50 years that they're in uh, the top division. So first time in at least 50 years that they're, they would get, they're going to get European football group stage. That's 100% sure they're going to get it. Uh, let's see how far they can go. Let's see if they can get Champions League. That would be immense. Sturm Graz uh, had Europa League last year, so uh, they'll get European football group stage again. Rangers had Europa League football, and they made the final. 
but they lost to Eintracht Frankfurt. They would have gone Euro, the group stage of uh, Champions League if they had won. Um, but they lost on the penalties. Uh, let's see if they can get Europa League or even Champions League this year. Trabs and Sport playoff run, they at least got Europa League, these two teams, because if they lose in Europa League, if they win, Champions League. Trabs and Sport finally won in, uh, in uh, 30 years, for the first time in 30 years, their league, in the Turkish league. Um, last year, they were not in European football group stage because they lost to Roma in the playoff round of the Conference League. Unlucky, but this year they'll at least get Europa League, which is going to be great for them. Copenhagen are in the playoff round, and they're only one round away, both these teams, from the Champions League. This would be great for them. Copenhagen were in the Conference League group stage last year, so the, both Chelsea Sport and Copenhagen will better what they did last year in the Europe. Copenhagen made it to the quarter, f- was it quarter final or last 16? Against PSV, they actually they drew 4 4 away to PSV, but then lost 4 0 at home. Uh, but they were far in the Conference League, so well done on them. In the group stage, Real Madrid, of course, they just won the Champions League. Mo- uh, a lot of these teams were already in Champions League. Chelsea were already in Champions League, finished in the, the uh, quarterfinal against Real Madrid. They lost to Real Madrid. Sevilla were out in the group stage, very disappointingly, by the way. But they're Champions League regular, all the three of these teams. So it's expected Juventus were knocked out by Villarreal in the last 16. They'll want to get better this year because that was... Uh, an embarrassment for a team of Juventus' standard. No offense to Villarreal, but Juventus are they're meant to be way better. Leipzig just about make top four in the end because uh, they started the season so badly and then just got better as the season went on. They're usually Champions League regulars. They got knocked out in the group stage because they had Man City and PSG in their group, so that was unlucky, unfortunate. Sporting. Uh, it was the first time in, in like a decade or something that they were in Champions League last year in the group stage, but they're again this year twice in a row they get Champions League group stage, so that's good to see them back again. So Celtic are the first team in the group stage that were not there last year. So Celtic welcome uh, back because they were in the Champions League not too long ago. And they're a historical club, so it's, it's good to see Celtic in the Champions League. I don't think they're going to do anything this season, but it's good to see them. Eintracht Frankfurt won the Europa League, which is why they're in. They finished 11th in the Bundesliga, which is pretty insane, to be honest. But they got Champions League. They got first, uh, they got pot one, and that's great. They don't usually get Champions League at all, so this is a brand new team. They won Europa League, of course, last year. Celtic, uh, but also, even though they finished third in the group. Tottenham had Conference League group stage, and of course, they had to forfeit uh, because uh, they did not have enough players, I believe, for the game against Ren. So they finished third in their conference group. But usually they get Champions League, so they're used to this. Ace Milan finally won the Scudetto for the first time in 10 years. And they won Champions League for the first time in seven years last year, and they'll be there again this year. Bayern Munich, yeah, well, they're always in Champions League. So welcome back for, the, for whatever, how many ever, ever. Uh, like same as PSG, Bayern and PSG are always in Champions League. Same as Real Madrid. Those three are the three teams that just always get Champions League. Ajax usually get Champions League. But it's only recently that the Dutch league uh, had a first, the first place in the Champions League group stage directly. They used to have to go through qualifiers like three years ago. On the year, the year they went to the semi final, they actually had to go through qualifiers first. Uh, so good to see you back. They finished. They uh, by the way, Bayern were out in the um, semi final against Villarreal. Very disappointing. Uh, semi final, no quarter final against Villarreal. Very disappointing to be honest. But Villarreal had a great uh, campaign. PSG got knocked out in the last 16, of course, by Real Madrid. Uh, that was a fun game. The Karim Benzema game. Ajax were knocked out by Benfica. Very disappointing because we expected way more from Ajax. Shakhtar were knocked out in the group stage. Finished fourth behind Sh- uh, Sheriff Tiraspol, which was very disappointing from their, by their standards because they usually get Champions League. And they got it again. Man City get Champions League every year. But were knocked out in the semifinal, um, in the semifinal uh, this year against Real Madrid. The two goals at the 90th minute really killed them, but let's see if they can go better with Holland. Barcelona usually do get Champions League pretty much every year. They got knocked out in the Champions League group stage. They were finished third, which was very embarrassing, but let's see if they can get back to the Champions League knockout stage this season. Inter Milan uh, have been recently in Champions League, but not really last 16 of Champions League, but they finally broke that uh, and finally got into Champions League last 16 this year. That's as far as it went. Liverpool are a step above, even though they had a chance to go through. Borussia Dortmund, same as Sevilla, super disappointing. They usually get Champions League and they got it again, but super disappointing in the Champions League. 
knocked out in the group stage, Sporting. Sevilla was Salzburg and Lille that went through. Sporting and Ajax went through for Dortmund. That's really disappointing from being honest. Marseille did not get Champions League last year. They got Conference League. Actually, they were Europa League, sorry, in group stage. And um, let's see how far they can go in Champions League. They, last time they were in Champions League, two years ago, they had uh, one or zero points, I forgot. But it was very, very disappointing. Uh, Club Bruges usually get Champions League by winning the, the league. They got it again this year. They finished fourth in a group with Leipzig, Man City, and uh, um, PSG. Wait, did they finish fourth? Or th- yeah, they almost finished third, actually, but Leipzig, uh, Leipzig actually lost to Club Bruges. But uh, then they won the second the second game. Let's see how far they can go this year. Liverpool went to the final, but of course lost to Real Madrid, as we know. And uh, they're going to Champions League yet again. Atletico Madrid are in Champions League yet again. They they usually are, same as Barcelona and Real Madrid. They're sort of trio that always go to Champions League in Spain. They were knocked out in the quarterfinal um, to... Who did they? I'm drawing a blank. Who did they lose to? They beat Man United. That was Man City, yeah. Man City. That was like a 1-0, uh, nil, nil. So that was a 1-0 in aggregate. That was a boring uh, second leg with uh, Phil Foden just diving all around. Napoli are back in the Champions League, and I'm really excited. I really like Napoli. And they almost got, got Champions League last year, but they drew to Hayes Verona on the final day, which meant Juventus were in Champions League and not them. But they're back in Champions League. But without Lorenzo Insigne, and potentially without Dries Mertens. That remains to be seen. Uh, Verde Leverkusen are back in Champions League also. They're a very exciting young team with Schick, Hlozek they just signed from Sparta Prague, and uh, Musa Diaby, Sardar Azmoun. Uh, the defense is really young. Uh, uh, on the right back, they got Frimpong. Um, center backs, they got players like Ta, Jonathan Ta, Edmund Tapsova, Odinon Kosunu. Porto are, are in Champions League again, as they usually are by winning the league. They were very down in the league this year. Red Bull Salzburg usually win the league, and they did it yet again. Last year, they had to go through playoffs, even though they won the league. This year, they're directly in the Champions League, which is good to see. I think it's because Zenit's... It's either Celtic or Salzburg that are because Zenit are not, because uh, the Russian the Russians are not in the Champions League. One of the two would have been in the playoff round, had it not been for uh, uh, Russia being um, eliminated from the European playoffs, or uh, European uh, group stage. But anyways, these are the first qualifying round seeded teams. So none of the big teams are going to play each other in the first qualifying round. Maybe Lech Poznan. Uh, but like all this, you're not going to see a, a Malmo versus Kludge or Bodo uh, Second round. This is the second qualifying round. Seeded Dino Zagreb, Olympiakos, Viktor Poulsen. Maccabi Haifa and Zurich are going to have to place tough opposition. Uh, they usually don't get European football group stage, but um, it's going to be tough to get through to the group stage of Champions League. This is uh, League Path, Dino Kiev, Midtjylland. One of them will play Fenerbahce, the other one will play AEK Larnica. Uh, Fenerbahce are, in my opinion, way better. They got um, the experience, so are, both these teams will want uh, Fenerbahce. I mean, will want Larnica, that's for sure. Champions Path, uh, third qualifying round. Red Star Belgrad have gotten um, seeded, and Apollon and Masol are potentially unseeded. We'll see. That remains to be seen. In the league path, Benfica, Rangers, PS, PSV get seeded. Monaco, Stringrads, and Union saint are unseeded. Playoff run, Copenhagen are seeded. Chosen Sport are unseeded. Maybe they'll play each other, we don't know. Part 1, Real Madrid, Eindracht, Frankfurt, Manchester City, AC Milan, Bayern Munich, PSG, Porto, Ajax. Part 2, Liverpool, Chelsea, Barcelona, Juventus, Atletico Madrid, Sevilla, RB Leipzig, Tottenham. Part 3, Dortmund, Salzburg, Shakhtar Donetsk, Inter Milan, Napoli, Sporting. Bayer Leverkusen, Pot 4 Club Bruce Celtic, and then Pot 3 or 4 are Marseille. And then the teams that win in the Champions Path or in the, in the playoff round of the Champions League uh, qualifiers. But that will be it. There's not a single team in the Champions League group stage confirmed that w- that had not been in European group stage uh, last season, whether Conference League, Europa League, or, um, or uh, Champions League. So it's interesting. But yeah, tell me predictions. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think out of the... S- Six. There has to be six teams in um, the play- qualifiers that that qualify for the next round for uh, the Champions League group stage. So tell me who you think those six teams are. And uh, 
I'll see you uh, next time. Thank you. Uh, please press the like button if you've enjoyed it and please subscribe if you're new. I will be doing this for Europa League, which will be way less uh, longer be uh, because, of course, there's less teams. The conference is going to be as long.